Hello. Not sure if anyone is here in the chat yet. Hello, Red Boy. How you doing? I was a few minutes late, but uh, guess we'll wait a little bit for people to join. Oh, games. Hello. Hi, Robot Prince. It's been a while since I've been to one of your live streams. Good to have you here. <laughs> and hello. Oh, it's just Re Red Boy and Games here yet. Doing good this Saturday night. Yes. What time is it for you now? So for me, it's 10 in the morning on a Sunday because I live in Japan. I feel like I'm not centered. A bit, uh, 8.08 p.m. So I guess you guys both live in the States. Uh, gotcha. Part of the reason why I chose this time is was I was thinking it might be easier to join for someone living in the States. While it also working for me. But, you know, people have their own schedules and whatnot. Wondering, should I have this more like maybe a bit more in the center like this? Yeah, this is probably better. <laughs> All right, so I have some news. Um, so I, I I didn't do the stream last week, and the week before that I did a stream, and in these two weeks a lot of stuff has um, happened. And I want to talk about them. Uh, one of the things is I enabled uh, YouTube memberships. So you can now become a member on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. And you do that by clicking join below. Um, and if you do, there are a few things uh, that will happen. One is you can use... Uh, some special robot prints emojis like these guys. Uh, yes. So you can use these in the chat. Hello, Shavy. Konnichiwa, robot prints. And you'll also get a badge next to your name showing that you're supporting robot prints. And uh, I'll also give you a shout out during live streams. So if you're interested, you can click join below in the video and become a member. It costs about, I looked it up now, like I set the price in yen and it's 190 yen a month, which is like $1.2. So um, it's what it would cost to buy a, a Coke or a coffee maybe. So you can think of it as you're buying me a coffee. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, then uh, click join below. And I will do this in streams now. I will, uh, well, oh, did did some of you click and see the price? Because I only see the price in yen because that's the price that I set. So it's 190 yen. And when I looked it up 
in, on Google when I just did it, it it's like 1.24 dollars so should be something like that um, and even if you don't do this for my channel if you do it for someone's channel someone some artist that you like it means a lot to them it would mean a lot to me it would mean a lot to them and you know it's not that much money so if you do that then that could help an artist grow and make more content and do cool stuff so um so before i continue i also want to do a shout out now in the beginning to both my patrons and my youtube members so i wrote the big names for the high tiers and then there are some smaller names down there for the people who are also supporting me but uh, the lower tiers so thanks to everyone here Pooch, Kip, Spent, Brass, Frida Tiberini, Simon Lindem, Pasta P, Gaming. You're in the chat today? No, wait, that's Games. I don't know if Gaming and Games is the same person. Anyway, Mr. Mania. Hey, you're in the chat though. Thank you. Pamela, Pation, Corner Theory, Soro Mav, Name5, Felicia Linden. And then my YouTube members, which uh, the tier is called uh, Mechanical Fighters. So if you become a YouTube member, then you're a Mechanical Fighter. Yes. And uh, the member so far is Tony Lace, who is an awesome chiptune artist. And you need to check out his music. Aniemon, who made the the stamps for me. And is, a, is an amazing uh, pixel artist. And then uh, Tragi Komisk. I don't know how to read that, but thank you guys so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. And I will give a shout out at the end as well. Made it. Hello, Magma. How are you doing? Um, can't see it. Things not working for me. It's just my phone having issues. Oh, okay. Um, what story are you here to bring to us today? I like the lore behind your music. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can uh, share the story. But before I continue with the song I'm going to work on today, um, I'll just talk a little bit about my week so far. and Or my, my last two weeks. So, like two weeks ago when I did a stream, I was... I was, oh wait, that was three weeks ago. I, I was working on uh, Amy, what was it called? Our Galactic Love. I was working on that song. And then Weather Witch was talking to me, saying that one part sounded like a ringtone. So I made a ringtone out of that part and uploaded it to YouTube. And it, that video has been pretty popular. And then I got the idea, maybe I should make a whole like mini album, an EP. Um, by the way, uh, does everyone know what an EP is? That's was something that I was thinking. Like, is that a is that just a term that artists, like music people, use? And maybe young people today don't know what it is. I, I'm not sure. So I just want to ask you guys: What do you know what an EP is? So an EP is a, a mini album, like it's not a full album, but it's just uh, a few songs. Like, so it's not a, a, there are singles, EPs, and then full albums. So, so if, if there's just one song, then it's a single. And, but, but a single can have one extra song, like a, like a, not the main song and then like one extra song and it's still called a single but then if it's like five songs or six songs usually it's called an ep and um, it's i i found out it's it stands for extended play i think it's extended 
something like that. And it's, it's, uh, it refers to, it has something to do with like the old vinyl, uh, CDs, vinyl CDs, vinyls, like the LPs and the EPs and, and that kind of stuff. So the EPs were like the shorter albums were called EPs, but we use that today too, to mean, uh, an album that only has a few songs. So that's what I talk about when I say EP. And I wonder if you guys knew that because I write that on Twitter sometimes and maybe people are like, oh, episode, but that's not what I'm talking about because, but everyone, every artist who makes music know what EP is. So, but not everyone in my chat is, is like making music. So maybe you do, guys don't know what I mean. So maybe I should say like a mini album or something instead of EP to not confuse you. So I want to make a mini album with ringtones and I already started doing it and I made the first one that is already on YouTube. And then I've made two more that is on Patreon right now. So you can check them out there. Um, and uh, I'm working on two more. So I made a, a ringtone of Fight Chili with Chili. You can check it out on my Patreon. And I also made one, another one called Wake Me Up. And it's uh, Amy singing Wake Me Up. And then I sing Noob. Wake me up, noob, because noob is Amy's alarm clock. Um, so I want to make two more songs, and I'm I already have them. I started working on both of them actually, and maybe I can have this finished pretty soon. So uh, then we just need to work on on some artwork and something, and maybe. Well, we'll have to see, but uh, maybe like in in June, in the beginning of June or something, I can release this uh, album. And then it will be available on YouTube and Spotify or wherever you listen to music. But for now, I, I have all the songs on Patreon. So if you want to listen to them in advance, you can join my Patreon. There is a link in the description for that. My ringtone is on my way. Full blast, bass boosted. Nice. Good to hear it. Uh, uh, just reading some other comments here. I'm still making and working on animation videos because knew she very loved my drawings that she talked to me. She said you're artistic as well, about she is proud of me. Good for you. Um, all right, now let's get to some music. So I'm gonna work on Noob Pillow today. I did not touch this song for like a week or maybe longer because I was working on the ringtone songs. Um, but, um, Let's listen to it. Well, this first part is the same as the ringtone. Actually, I'll, I'll uh, do this a little bit higher volume.
this part is probably what I'm gonna work on today. Right now it's just the beat and the chords. And this will be the guitar solo section. Kind of long. I got my work cut out for me. whole song is laid out here so it takes a while to listen through the whole thing we'll listen through it, the whole thing one more time at the end of the stream but other than that I I will only listen to things like part by part All right uh, the sound of the guitar feels good thank you so much I Ibane Haruka uh, yeah I, I liked the it's this part here, right? The Yeah, I spent I spent quite a bit of time making sure that each part sounded good. So there's probably like may maybe a part here and there that I still want to retake. But in general, I, I really like this sound. It sounds very fusion guitar-y. So I like that. That's clean. Thank you, games. Space. You got it. All right, so what I'm gonna try today, I don't think, like having the pad back, what did I miss? When did you leave? Um, so I don't know what you missed, but uh, we were listening to the song and then we were listening to the guitar again. So you didn't miss that much, I don't think. So the guitar solo section here, right now it's just the beat and the pads like this. I'm gonna mute this because I'm gonna re record it later. So it's just like this. So that's fine. And you could have that like a bass line together with this. But what I'm gonna try and do, and I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that or not, but what I'm gonna try and do is this. I was doing this with the ringtones and I kind of really enjoy doing it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the exact same chords for four different pads and I'll uh, render them.
and then I'll start cutting them and making different patterns patterns with them like rhythmic patterns and it, it it will kind of sound like um it might sound like there it's one it's one synth doing many things Well, I'm not good at, at explaining it, so I'll just do it and you'll see what I'm doing. But it's one of those concepts that I, you don't think of it unless you do something that you normally wouldn't do. Normally, you think that one instrument should just play everything in MIDI and that's what it does. But I can I can render something from MIDI and start cutting it afterwards. And that way I can get more of a glitchy sound or however you would describe it. But what is this? Yes. Um, I have four four different pads that are have different sounds, and they and if I go back and forth between them, you'll get an interesting sound. So first, I need to render all of them, and then I'll start cutting and see what kind of patterns I can make. I already did it in this song for some parts. Hmm. Just to make this easier. What do I call this? I'll call it synth pad. This one is called synth step and this one is called serum pad. I guess I can call it serum pad to three. Serum pad three or, or two. This one should be two. The one below should be three. Okay, so now I have four different pads, all of them playing the exact same thing. I might actually do this. That way it's just easier to see everything. So the first pad is sounds like this. The second pad sounds like this. The third pad sounds like this. And the fourth one. Okay. So what if I cut them? And oops. in some interesting way. So if I want to do it 
Maybe I want to do it shorter. Let's see. That's what I was thinking. Daga do daga gum. So then it would be like this. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Then. So the rhythmic pattern I'm thinking now is it's going to change every there's going to be a rhythm that is kind of like a not not a triplet but three counting three so one two three one two three is what I'm think is going to be one two three and then this one oops wrong one one no wait uh this one one two and then these are not here and then this one and then oh. so it was sound like like this oh, okay Probably not this one actually, let's do this instead. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. Um, Good, I could do that. Too good, I could do that. Duck, duck, duck. Too good, I could do that. Then I'll do this one. Then I'll do this one. Um, let's see. Do, do. Can try this.
That's pretty cool, right? And what I'm thinking is maybe below this, there can be a more quiet pad. Yeah, maybe that will keep it together. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this. Oh wait, I need to do that one more time. Do one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Oh, I cut it way too fast. Doesn't need to be that. Okay. So, da da da. Da da. Da da. And these guys. Dun dun dun. Okay. Yeah. I have another idea here. Can make if I do this. Damn this. Ah, I see. So, um, cut, cut, do that, do that. Yeah, it should be like this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then, uh, for now, I'll stick with this pattern, and then I can change it throughout the solo. But. 
and I could like it can start like this and then maybe in the middle of the solo there can be like some arpeggio or something yeah, 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 yeah. that might be cool I I really like how how this sounds just by cutting it. There's something about this that sounds cool. Instead of like you don't get the same sound with just playing it. You need to cut it for it to sound like this. Ah, uh, yes. The problem that sometimes happens here, though, is some of them have very long releases. Oh, boy. Uh, this sounds a bit... Mm. Okay, I think here it's fine. Yeah. Ugh. Like, because the release is long, some notes from the previous chords is still in the audio. And maybe I should just make the release shorter for everything when I do this, but I forgot to do that. Um, and if you hear notes from the previous chord, in the new chord, it's going to sound dissonant. So that's what I was reacting to. It still sounds a little bit, but that's fine. actually like this um All right, uh, and then I just do the same thing here. So it's uh, do 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 this one I can just in general I try to keep I like that it sounds randomized a bit you it becomes randomized if you just keep however this pad plays the chord so like these parts they don't sound exactly the same each time ah uh, this one i'm gonna remove
One, two, three, one, two, three, dun, dun, dun. one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this here. So it becomes D, then this one, and this. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice uh, change. Yeah, dun dun ba da da. It sounds like a bass line. All right, I'll just continue and do this. I hope you enjoy me. Cutting some some audio. Uh, this is this bit. Yes. And for this pad here, what I should always do is today it is. Amazing weather outside to go walk this morning and it is nice. Yeah, okay. I think I need to do something about this because this one is not going to sound good. All right. Um But it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it's it's this release here. It's so long. And also what if I cut this? Yeah. I think that's fine. All right. Yep, 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 yep. It's too annoying to deal with the the chords sounding dissonant so i'm just going to use this uh drier version instead question is do i need to redo the previous audio to match how it sounds like well there's only one way to find out I think I do, but that's fine. It's not difficult. Mostly because the... All right. Mostly because the volume is... Oh, I just noticed something about this one. It's like very heavily to the left. I mean, that might be fine. Oh, 
I'm noticing something going on in the Discord. Just give me a second. Uh, don't want to show this during the stream. Oh, -ho -ho -ho. wow. I'm not going to show this in the stream. And I hope I'm not showing it right now. I don't think I am. Nope. E nice. Okay, yeah. Oh, it was just my friend um, sending me something. He's working on uh, some cool animation. So hopefully I'll get to show that soon. Hello, El Goofball. Pineapple. You said it. Um, all right. Well, what should I do about this? So somehow the delay or whatever made it sound more like it was balanced and now it doesn't sound very balanced. So the easiest ways to fix this would just be to do like R50 or something and maybe now it sounds more. Sure. Sounds very quiet. Maybe R50 is good. Okay, let's go with that and uh, let's cut some more. Let's cut it again. I like to cut. It's my favorite thing to do. Right, right. That sounds good. As long as there is no dissonance, I am a happy robot, friends. Right. Do do da, and then this and this. Yes. I like here that the pad became more, um, how do you say, closed. In the beginning it was more open and then be become closed sounding. I think that is passable. Sometimes I don't think this is a common thing, but sometimes I listen to songs and I try to play the guitar together with it. And then I noticed that my guitar sounds like it's out of tune. And then I'm like, oh shit, my guitar is so out of tune. What's going on? And But actually it's not out of tune. It is the song that is not 
in normal tuning but you don't know that way you listen to it because you you just think like oh of course it's got to be in in a normal key but it's not it's like slightly higher or slightly lower than where a normal key would be i know some artists they do that like that's what they're famous for like uh, uh, jacob uh, collier for example he does that all the time but he talks about it and he's like he's this music genius so that makes sense but some like pop songs that you wouldn't think is like that are are like that like perfume songs are sometimes like that and it's like oh i didn't expect it to be out of tune or slight just slightly higher or lower than where a normal key would be for some reason i thought of that now when listening to this sound like it it maybe it's just a little bit higher than the rest of the things i don't know Here, I, I imagine, like, there could be a uh, an arpeggio coming in. I was thinking, like... Amy sounded like different and similar to to you, I see from My Hero Academia. Oh, who 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 is that character?
All right, gotta continue and do the the cut to know how it sounds together. That's it. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna listen to it. Again. <laughs> Since I now know the pattern that I'm doing, it might be faster to just do it like this. Tsuyu Asui is a character from My Hero Academia, which as known, the other name is Froppy. Ah, right. It's the, it's the frog one, I guess. I'm guessing it's the frog one. I did watch that show a little bit, but I didn't watch all of it, and I forgot what all of the characters' names were. Nice, I'm doing this today, making sure. Sometimes certain things like this just need to spend a little bit of time to organize it and see what the, what the sound you want is. And doing this can be tedious, but once you get it done, you start to get an idea of the sound and now you can do the details and then it starts sounding good and you're like, made a nice song right. welcome back Ooh. yeah that arpeggio sounds nice but it also sounds very much like uh, Genova Final Fantasy 7 arpeggio but who cares? I mean, I am probably using stuff like this. Not not on purpose. Sometimes maybe, but usually not uh, in my songs. Like, it's it sounds familiar and it's... And this will be in the background, so... All right, let's do this. Let's continue and cut. Right now I'm making everything the same, but I think in the end I won't make everything the same. I will 
have a few more patterns in here. But let's do everything the same right now and then play around within these established patterns. That's how we do it. Doom, doom. All right, and we do this, this here, and this. Cut, cut, cut. Boom, boom. It seems like a weird chord song was mixed with a Minecraft song. That might be true. I'm not aware of all the chords. As much as I, I'm doing electronic music, I don't know that much about electronic music. I'm just doing my thing, which is whatever this is. Sometimes I think maybe I should listen a little bit more to like drum and bass or some genres like that. There has been times where I've listened a lot to like um, Deep House. And because it was very like relaxing while working. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes, like here. So something here. This sounds good. Probably this one. Yeah. This one. Um, the chord change here somehow. Yeah, there's just a little bit of the release left, so. Okay, here it sounds good. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. And that's not it. As far as music I listen to a lot, I've been listening a lot more to progressive metal, fusion, jazz, and then game music. And that's how I got here. But I haven't listened that much to electronic music. But there's something nice when it's like slightly out of tune too. Like it's not perfect. There's something charming about that too. So I guess today I'll just cut the whole thing and then uh, I think I'll finish the stream for today. We'll, we'll listen through it and uh, see what it sounds like. Um.
I don't think that this way I am. I don't know if this is a common te technique of doing things because it sort of takes time to do it. It might not be how people do this kind of thing. But in general, I don't care if something takes a lot of time. If it sounds the way I want it to sound, then I'll, I'll do it. Oops. There might be other ways to do it, but whatever is easy for me to understand and uh, sounds the way I want it to sound, I'll, I'll happily do it. That is not it. Anyway. Um hmm. This one I see. So we can cut this. Hello, Royal Prince. I like how you make your music. Thank you, Dave, not there. I think you're there. I appreciate it. I appreciate that someone likes how I make my music. There's still a bit left here. All right, but I'm getting there. It's because this guitar solo is so long. But this is gonna be epic, I'm telling you. At the end, when I've finished cutting all of this, what I can also do is like select everything and then I can do these little fade ins and fade outs to make sure that there's no like, like click sound before or after. Because when you cut something, it, it can sometimes make that sound that in general, at least for me, I tend to not like how that sounds. But I mean, it, it can be a rhythmic thing that maybe some people like to use to, to create a rhythm. But for me, I tend to like it to sound smooth. Anyway, let's, we haven't listened to the music that much in a while now. So let's just listen to what it sound until this point. Sounds pretty dope. Sounds really good. I just arrived right on when you play the music. Yes. Then like adding a bass onto this. Then there's gotta be the guitar solo, of course. And a few like counter, not counter melodies, but like arpeggios or little melodies in the background doing stuff. Maybe some sound effects, something. This can be a pretty sweet section, I think. But I'm going to continue and do this all the way to the end here. And uh, yeah. 
that way I have done a significant part of the song, I think. What a perfect time to draw with a great music stream. I'm uh, happy to hear that my music helps you draw. I don't play the music all the time though. You know, I'm just I'm doing my own drawing, so to speak. Cut, cut. Hmm. But yeah, this way of playing around with chords and rhythms using many pads playing the same thing and making rhythms, it's it's something I enjoy to do a lot. You can create some pretty cool dynamics. Um, 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 um. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Right. I don't know why I'm thinking of that song. So here's a <laughs> thought I had the other day. You know, sometimes when you sit down and you want to create something, you have like zero ideas or not motivated and you, you don't know what to do and like, oh man, nothing, no, nothing is happening in my head right now. And then, <laughs> then, then I go to the bathroom and I, um, I, I do my business and then I get a bunch of ideas. Isn't that weird? But I mean, it's it's like that when you're not supposed to do it, then you get more like spontaneous ideas. So like even if I go on a walk, for example, that it that also tends to help. That's probably even better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, some of my best tunes have been made in the bathroom or started. They, I didn't, I didn't make it while. Pooping, you know, that's not it. Sometimes I can get really into it. I have, <laughs> I was having this one idea, and I was just sitting there, and it's like, oh yeah, this is great. Um, and then I came out and I I made this song, and yeah, it turned out great. This was to <laughs> Yes, it happens to me too. Creative juice creativity juice disappears for a lot of time for me. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. Uh, 
Uh. In general, these days at least, I tend to not have difficulties with coming up with ideas. It tends to happen like I, I usually have ideas, but then I don't always sit down and do them. But I'm okay with that too, actually, especially recently I've been very productive, so I'm happy. But there are definitely like months sometimes when I'm not making anything and it's like, uh. and then I start feeling like, man, it's such a shame. Like could be making so much stuff but and it feels a little bit like I'm, I'm i'm wasting time like i have i have some good abilities to make music and i have software and i, I have some time and should take advantage of it the more I make good music, um, the more there is a possibility that I could make it into a living too. If you make something that is well produced, people are going to like it. And if people like it, they will listen to it, they will buy it, they will support you. So, it is, it can be one motivating factor too, but you have to like make something of decent quality. But then again, what is good quality? It's, uh, It's a bit of a subjective thing. So sometimes maybe someone would critique my music saying like it sounds cheap or it sounds this or that. It's too much 8-bit um, stuff. And it's like, well, I mean, I that's my thing. I make 8-bit music. So I'm not going to stop using 8-bit sounds just because it doesn't sound like modern music. So I wouldn't change that. But there might be times where my music is not mixed well or maybe there's something about it that could be improved. And maybe I think that myself too, in which case they might be right. People don't critique my music that much, though, in general. I don't, it's not like, yeah. All right, last one. This is the last boss, by the way. What happened there, though? Okay, okay, the, it does make sense. Okay, it makes sense. Did it. Okay, let's listen to this section. We can listen to it a little bit, this section before, and just see what the transition is like, too. All right, so from here, let's listen to it. I 
I need to work on this section too, it's not finished. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that um, um, the second half, I'm gonna do something else because it's like this pattern the whole time. So, so the first half will be this kind of pattern and then adding some stuff. But maybe the second half, I'll I'll have more, have it more um, like not as cut. I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think this part needs a bit more variety. Yes, definitely. I agree. And um, that's something I will work on. But this is a good start to, to get a sense of the, the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the first part is, is a bit cut and the second part is more full and maybe more spacey sounding. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go for here, I think. Um, but I'm not going to do more today. This is a good time to finish the stream. All right, so let's listen to it from the beginning. Thank you. 
All right. So I am going to export this one and upload it on Patreon. So if you want to listen to it there without accessing YouTube, listen to it. You can uh, check. You can become a member of my Patreon, the lowest tier. You can listen to uh, all the songs that I post after I work on them. Um, so, yes, that's it for today's stream. Um, so I will do another shout out to my patrons and to my YouTube members. I made a YouTube uh, membership plan recently. There's only one tier and you'll get some uh, cool uh, emojis like this and you'll get a badge to your name and shout outs so shout out to pooch keeps spent brass frida tiverini simon linden pasta p gaming mr mania pamela patient corner theory sorrow name five lisa linden and my youtube members my mechanical fighters Tony Lace, Aniemon, Tragikumisk, and special thanks to Aniemon for making uh, these amazing uh, stamps, the em emojis. And he also made the batch uh, artwork, which looks amazing. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, he's also working on uh, the music video of one of my songs there is a trailer from like last year but uh it is coming along it it uh it, man once he releases it it's gonna be amazing but it uh he has put a lot of work into it and it, it seems to take a bit of time to uh, finish it still some work to be done there so but very much looking forward to it all right that's going to be it for today. Um, thank you for joining. And also thank you for listening to my music on Spotify and YouTube. And I'm, I'm wondering... Um, well, maybe it's not something to bring up now. But I, I've been wondering, where do you guys listen to my music mostly? Um, I, I might make a poll or something like that. Just to check with you guys. I'm, I'm curious. Um, I have a lot of people listening to my music on Spotify recently. Um, that's probably the most popular place. Um, but for example, do some people listen to it on iTunes, Apple Music? There might be other services that I don't know about that people listen to music. SoundCloud. I have some of my music on SoundCloud too. Um... But SoundCloud is not very good, at least not for me. It's not very um, profitable for me. Spotify is much more. Spotify or YouTube it's, is uh, much better. So Spotify when I'm working, traveling. Okay. Yep. That seems to be the most popular one. Anyway, so see you guys uh, probably next week. I'll continue to work on this song. Okay, have a good one. Bye.